Good afternoon, welcome to Boyd Park. Beside me here, I have James Higgins. G'day, James, how are you going today? Yeah, good, Bevan, how are you, mate? Good, thanks. Good. Um, congrats on your 100th game last week. Cheers, must, mate. Have, must have felt quite good to knock that up for Premier Grade. Yeah, it was. It's, it's been a long journey. It's, uh, that was my, it's my 14th season this year. Um, I started my time in, in the Waikato, and, uh, and obviously, you know, uh, being a Tiaroha College old boy, um, went to Tiaroha College, I mean. Um, yeah, it was good to notch it up in Tiaroha, mate. So, uh, yeah, fantastic. So you refereed in the Waikato. I, th- I thought I'd seen you from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think I actually started my time with you, mate, but way yeah. back in the junior grades. And then, um, obviously, yeah, got my chance uh, many a moon ago now. And, and then this is, yeah, my fourth season in the Valley. I've been lucky enough to be granted a final. Um, and, yeah, obviously, um, yeah, loving the rugby over here. So it's fantastic. So what made you get into refereeing to begin with? Um, well, I sort of, I sort of, um, in an under 21s game, I got a little bit injured in the knee, but lost a bit of confidence just with a few head knocks, and uh, never sort of regained it. And, and my father actually said, "Man, you because I was a halfback and you were, I was quite cheeky to referees, um, like all said, halfbacks, yeah, <laughs> definitely." And he just said, "Have a crack because uh, you know you always got something to say." And then after that, I sort of got the bug, and within a, within a season, I was on Waikato Stadium, um, at Waikato Stadium, refereeing the Gwyn Shield, so it was all good. Might have even possibly been uh, one of the few years that I was doing the same thing. Yeah, actually. I'm pretty um, sure. It, yeah, I, I was either running touch for you, or you, I was you were running touch for me, mate. It was probably about the same time I was refereeing with you, Bevan. So yeah, uh, yeah, all good. Quite, quite funny how we've come up. Um, you've stayed with it, but I've uh, now gone to the camera side of it. <laughs> yeah, things. well, definitely looking so. a bit longer in the tooth, and I probably uh, used to look uh, probably a little bit older, but uh, still loving it, mate. Still loving it. So, so, so what makes a good referee? Um, I, I guess having the resilience because you're never going to have the perfect game, and and you've got to be expected. You are probably going to get twenty to thirty percent wrong, and and um, yeah, just the perseverance to dig dig through a game where it is tough, and uh, when that eightieth minute go, uh, the eightieth minute ticks over, and uh, you know, you've, you've hopefully added to the game. That's the big thing. Yep. And always be part of the game, not that game. Yeah, right. definitely. Like, like the big focus in refereeing is, you know, there's 15 on each team and you want to be the 31st man on the field. And um, if you have to be, but sometimes you've got to be a school teacher and you've actually got to really lay the law down. Otherwise, these players, you know, a lot of them know many variants of rules. So yes, and then there's those players that don't actually know the rules when they think they do, don't they? Yeah, <laughs> well, well, the game, the game is always evolving. The game's always evolving. You know, like back in the time, you know, we we used to just have scrums that just go straight in, whereas now the referee has to have onus on that as control because it's all tied in with ACC now. So, and same with like the blue card initiative. You know, back in the day, if you didn't feel too good, you come to the sideline. But now, if we see a player that's not feeling too good, we can blue card them, and then then we take the control. Do, do you feel um, that that blue card in, initiative? is a positive influence in the game, trying to get those head knocks um, seen to more um, immediately than, um, as you said, just going to the sideline? Yeah, well, rugby is a bit of a school of, you know, it's, it's the, the game of hard knocks, and, and to be tough, you know, you've got to stay on the field, whereas, you know, people have got lives to live after rugby, so once we cross that white line off, you know, on the field, then, you know, we're back into life. So whatever happens out there, there's always another day, so people got to think about that, you know, so we're good. And do you have contact for people that are interested in refereeing at all? Um, yeah, definitely. We uh, we have we have uh, Anthony Petrie, who's actually based in counties. He is our REO. He does counties in Thames Valley, and and um, has, uh, I'm, I'm not sure of the email, but if you contact uh, the Thames Valley um, HQ, they'll be able to pass on the email um, of Anthony Petrie and. Uh, we, I'll tell you what, we've got a couple of new referees this year. We've had Wayne Berry come across from the Waikato. We've got Ben King today, who's got his first premier game. Um, and he's really looking forward to it. So we, there are plenty of pathways available for referees. And then obviously at the back end of the season, we get into sevens and a bit of rep stuff as well. So Always exciting times for referees, isn't it? It is. And in, in, in every game, you learn something. So it's never it's never stagnant. Um, like you might have an all on brawl one week and you've got to sort that out. And then you won't see that the whole season. And then suddenly you've got issues with your scrums and you've got to look at your yourself you can never be a perfect referee but um the reason i do it is i just this is the love of the game and you're adding to it so all good no, thanks very much for your time james cool. thanks bevan and thank you for the chance to have an interview but yeah if you are thinking about refereeing have a crack because as i said you know you can go a lot like 14th season i'll, I'll go for another 10 years so happy days cool all right cheers mate thanks.